Hello and good afternoon guys. Welcome to MK Communion's Brokerage. My name is Mohammed. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how to properly fill out a Form W-9. So this form, Form W-9, is a request for taxpayer identification number and certification. Basically what this is used for, for those of you that are applying for jobs such as Uber, Lyft, Juno, or some private companies you're trying to apply for, they will want you to fill out a W-9 form. This is basically, put it as simple, your basic pedigree information. So as you see, the first line over here is name as shown in your income tax return. So you're going to put down the same name as you use in your income tax return. Your business name, obviously, if you're using the different name other than your name. If you're using a business name, the business name would be this. You're not giving this form to the IRS. You're giving this to the person that's up, that your job that you're applying for. So obviously, number three, it's going to be check appropriate box for federal tax classification. Is it going to be individual? Is it going to be a C corporation, S corporation, partnership, trust, slash, estate, limited liability com company, also known as LLC, and other, obviously. If you are one of them, obviously, you will select one of them such as like such as this simple select number four will be over here exemption codes apply only to certain entities not individuals see instruction on page three so you want to see exemptions you're going to go to page three and these are some of the exemptions they tell you the exemptions who who are exempt the for example exempt payee code generally individual including sole property are not exempt from back from backup withholding except as provided below corporations are exempt from backup withholding for certain payments including interest and dividends corporations are not exempt from backup withholding for payments made in settlements or payment card or third party tr network transaction so obviously over here it lists all the people that are exempted and whatever the case might be so keep that in mind if you are listed as number four you will have to go there and the exemption from fact of reporting code if any if you are exempt from fact of reporting code you will put that over here most of the time you will never fill out number four uh, you will fill out one two and three and then we'll go to number five your address obviously will be the address where you live or whatever the address you list on your tax return your city state and zip code and list account number here optional you don't have to put anything over here is like i said it's optional requester's name and address again it's optional if it's uber you will put down uber's name and address where they are basically a business incorporator from then you go down to taxpayer identification number, TIN number. So if for those people that do not have a social security number, you are you are have an option to give in your TIN number. If you do not have your TIN number, then you could give your social security number. Whatever whatever one you have, obviously. One person will have one or the other. So keep that in mind. Or if you're obviously business, you will have your EIN number, the business identification number, you will put down over here, which means you don't have to put down your social security number. This is just a certification for part two saying that you're telling the truth, you're not lying, everything is here is best of your ability and not and obviously you haven't lied at all. You would sign it and date it and that's it. So this reference is, like I said, is used for third party networks. Um, purpose of the form, again, is to file an information return with the IRS. The IRS needs to know what are you doing. You, you can't just work with the company and not you know let the IRS know. You will have to get that known. So again, you will fill this out. Uh, part two and three are more detailed information if you are want to learn. Uh, for example, like tell you what FATPA reporting is. It's the Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act requires a participation. Foreign Financial Institute to report all the United States account holders that are specified. A United States person. Certain pays are exempt from FATCO reporting. See exemption from FATCO reporting code later on the instruction. So again, they tell you more detailed and, and, and part of it as well. This is something that you want to read this on your own. Feel free to do that. I highly recommend reading this. Uh, but that's what the basic W9 is usually for. Um, with that being said, that's about it. Thank you again, guys, for watching this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully, you guys learned how to fill this out properly. If you guys do have any questions, comment, concern, please comment, like, subscribe. I'll try my best or my part to clarify any confusion you guys have. Thank you again, guys, for watching this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it.